works working? Is it on? Hmm? Is it on? Yeah, they're both on. Are they working? Yeah. So are we, we're live then? Yes, we're live. Hey, Americans happen to be some of the smartest people in the world. Albert Einstein was not American, but he <laughs> exactly. moved to America. Exactly. I was like, what? He's not American. No, but you know what? Most Americans think that he is American, so we're going to count him. <laughs> Welcome back to Italy again, and today we're here with a friend of mine, which is Trevor. Hello, everybody. Now you look there. <laughs> How? <laughs> uh, where are you from, Trevor? So I'm from the great old U.S. of A. You know, bald eagles, Fourth of July fireworks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do oh, straight away. Yeah. So I invited him today here because we're going to talk about the differences. We're gonna have a English bosh. English boxing match. A match, you know. No, just a oh, English boxing match. But I mean, you know, it's like it's the fight. It's the clash. Okay. All right, the clash. Good band. Okay. Clash of English. English clash. <laughs> English clash. I like that better. It sounds like English class, which, by the way, is how we know each other. <laughs> Yes, we're both teachers in the same school. He teaches also other students and upper, upper, higher in the. Yeah, levels. sometimes I dabble in the sciences, but that's just because <laughs> I like I like messing with drugs and chemicals that don't get me arrested. <laughs> okay, so today we're gonna have so much fun, and we're gonna talk about all the differences. Well, not all the differences, but a lot of words that we pronounce differently in England and in America. The first word we've got today is the lorry. The truck. It's not this lorry business. <laughs> Sounds like a woman's name. My dear, I need to go talk with Lori. I'll be right back. <laughs> no, a truck. It just means it's like the essence of manliness, you know? <laughs> truck, it's, it even sounds manly. But, there is a but. As a lorry, we also see like the huge and giant thing that is transporting food for Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Stuff. We call those semi-trucks. Exact semi-trucks? Yes, they're semis. What? <laughs> Why? Because they're almost a truck, but they're just a little bit bigger. <laughs> you know, it's like they took steroids. They they had something to prove. <laughs> Let's move to the next one then. Bench. A flipping bench. Bench. It's where you sit out at the park. Also, yes, we do see that, the bench as the bench that is in the park, but we also see it as the one that you've got in the kitchen. You know, no, like that's a countertop. Like, what would you call a countertop? What is it counting for? <laughs> Your food. It's waiting to know how much food you're gonna overeat on it. <laughs> I mean come on. There's pizza, there's steak, there's hamburgers, you know, all those things we use to celebrate our breaking up with England. <laughs> oh my goodness. What do you do on a bench normally? You put your butt on it. Why would exactly. you want anything that your rear is going to be on named by where you put your food? Okay, exactly. You put your butt on it, right? So you lie something on it, alright? That means that it's something where you lie things on it. Why would you not call a counter thing because that you're saying you like wanna, butt, no, because bench? It, no, because when I think of bench, I think of one thing and one thing only, sitting. And I do not want people sitting on my countertop. I don't want my cat, I don't want my dog, I don't want my canaries. Well, fair enough. We not that I have dogs or canaries or cats, you know. <laughs> well, let's move to the next one. We've got buggies. No. What is it? Horse and buggy? We're going back to the 1800s? Horse and buggy? <laughs> yes! The, the buggy is what my grandmother drove to school in back in the... Early 18, 1900s. We're talking 1930s, back when the car was still new. Back in a time when it was actually called in the right way, and still should be the, called the right way. That's when you push something. You can no. call it push, head, push chair as well, could you not? No, I'm sorry, but to me, it's a stroller. You're taking a stroll, you've got the little ba baby in there. Buggies, by the way, are pulled by the horses, not pushed. Okay, let's let us True. remember the difference between push and pull. Well, and we know that. <laughs> oh my goodness! Like, okay, I kind of understand you, but I don't understand why you would call it straw like a straw. Like, like it's like the verb to, to stroll. stroll. Yes, so yes. You're, you're strolling with it. But you don't stroll. <laughs> so you're gonna say I'm gonna walk? That's why we call it a walker. You know, you give it to the old lady and she walks <laughs> with it. Let's get to your flippin' torch. You know, no, 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 that's a flashlight. 
But why would you describe like, the action? I know that it's flashing a light, but why do you have to describe the action? Because when you see Torch, you think Nicolas Cage movie, National Treasure, you know? You got the little, <laughs> the little stick with the little cloth wrapped around it, or, you know, Indiana Jones. Yes. If, if you have a good taste in movies, you say Indiana Jones. Yes. If you have poor taste in movies, you say National Treasure. <laughs> I guess it's pretty much the same way like you like to describe that you're walking on a side walk instead of a normal pavement or path. This coming from the man that gave a female's name to the toilet. We call it, you want to call it, we want to talk about that, the loo. Okay, that's what I argue all the time with my students because they hear Michael in the, in the, in the other classes saying going to the bathroom. There's not a flipping bathroom. We no, do not, it's not have a bathroom. A bathroom. It's a restroom. Oh, it could be a restroom, but it could be just a flipping loo. Why would you call it bathroom? There's not even a bath in there. And every time I try to explain, you mean a bathtub or a shower? It's the same thing. You just bath yourself. You no, yourself. no, it's not the same. <laughs> One, you stand underneath and sing. You know, and it's like a practice for the <laughs> opera. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. The the other, you sit in and like you soak and become a prune. <laughs> okay, but do you not wash yourself in there? You know, some people say that if you take a bath, you're, you're more doing it to, to try and lock the world out. And if you're taking a shower, you're more doing it to just have a good think. Okay, but it's still called a loo and not a flipping bathroom. I always tell my students, it's the restroom. The bathroom's what you got at home. But why do you need to complicate their minds, poo kids? Restroom? No, it's the restroom. It's not like you go there and rest. Okay, I'm in the restroom. Hey, have you ever seen how my kids try and escape my science lessons? <laughs> Obviously, okay. they're teaching, <laughs> teaching biochemistry and it's like, Teacher, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> teacher, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> teacher, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> well, let's get to the next one then. The sweets. The normal sweets, actually. Do you want a sweet? This is what we would call classic candy. And I would love some candy because, you know, it is sweet, but donuts are sweet, pastries are sweet, pies are sweet, tarts are sweet, cakes are sweet. You see, for an English teacher, I thought you would understand the difference between sweets and sweet. No, you see, the thing is, is those are all sweets. This is candy. No, it's not like flipping candy. Why do you need to invent a name for it? It's not invented. It's the actual name of what it's called. This is candy. How can it be the actual name when your language comes from England? We beat you not once but twice and we <laughs> celebrated with fireworks. You celebrated your stupidity. Just saying that. You still come from England. Enjoyed this video. I've definitely enjoyed watching it back so far during the editing process that Ricardo has been doing. It's made me laugh. Trevor is very funny, and also Ricardo put them together. Awesome. So I was not in this video as I was at work, but anyway, we thought it'd be great if it was like two men like debating between like English and American. Especially because I tried to convince Cora to do it, but she's not the debating person. No, she's I like, said no. well, if you don't agree with it, that's okay. Yeah. That's fine. So before we leave, we want to show you this awesome charger that we have been sent. So this charger is a fast charger wireless, where, where that means that you can just lie your phone on it, horizontal or vertical, it doesn't matter. You can put it Diagonal. You if you want to put a diagonal, you put a diagonal. This charger comes comes with a cord, USB, so that means that you need to have an adapter to plug it into electricity. And it comes with different colors. The one I've got is quite cool, I like it. So Before you buy it though, make sure that your phone actually fits for it, because there are certain phones that don't charge with the wireless. So make sure that it actually works on a website. And we'll leave you in the description, in the description box all the details about this company, which gives you this Really nice thing. Okay, thank you for watching everybody, Ricardo and Trevor. And a big thank you for Trevor for coming and speaking on our channel and being filmed in a video. We know, Ricardo. And thank you for the company for the charger. And thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye this. Yes, bye. Okay.